Hi, my name is Violeta Weger, and this is a video abstract for the paper Local to Global Principle for Expected Values, co-authored by Giacomo Micheli and Severin Srava. In this paper, we focus on a number theoretic object called density or natural density, which answers the following question. Take a subset T of the integers, and now you want to know how likely it is that a randomly chosen integer lives inside your target set. Thus, we are asking for a Z-analog of a uniform probability distribution. More precisely, the density is defined as follows. We first restrict to a cube and count the number of elements of our target set that are living inside this cube. We then divide by the size of the cube, and finally, we let the cube grow infinitely large. This is clearly asking for a limit which might not exist. But if it does, this is called the density of the target set T. The task of computing such densities dates back to a question asked by Mertens and Cesaro independently, namely, how likely is it to have a co-prime pair? With the famous result of this density being six over pi squared. This beautiful result inspired many other researchers to compute densities of certain sets. For example, Heyman and Spadlinski computed the density of Eisenstein polynomials. These are polynomials that satisfy the irreducibility criterion of Eisenstein. Usually, such computations involve rather analytical tools. However, if your set can be characterized through primes, which is clearly the case for co-prime pairs and Eisenstein polynomials, then there exists a very elegant tool in order to compute such densities, namely the local to global principle by Ponen and Stoll. The idea of this principle is to characterize your target set through subsets of the periodic integers. And then they show that in order to compute such densities, it is enough to measure these subsets. Recently, Ma, McGowan, Rhodes and Vanner have changed the question. And instead of asking for the density of a set, they now ask for the expected value of the function corresponding to this set. More precisely, they compute the expected number of primes for which an Eisenstein polynomial satisfies the criterion of Eisenstein. Inspired by their result, we provide a new local to global principle that allows to compute such expected values, again by measuring suitably chosen subsets of the periodic integers, thus following the philosophy of Ponen and Stoll. Now, this is not just an addendum to their principle, as the original condition on the subsets of the periodic integers by Ponen and Stoll are not enough to guarantee the existence of such expected values. We hence add two new conditions, which are easy to verify, and they follow the idea of computations by Ma, McGowan, Rhodes, and Vanner. That is, the first condition is on small primes, and the second controls the regime of large primes. We show that both conditions are necessary by providing examples where one of the conditions is missing and the result of the principle does not hold. Finally, we give some applications of this new principle. For example, we compute the expected number of primes which divide all basic minors of a rectangular non-unimodular matrix, where basic minor means that you take the determinant of a maximal sized submatrix. Such computations are now reduced to verifying few conditions on your characterizing subsets of the periodic integers. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy the paper.